Viaggiando si possono scoprire località magari non molto conosciute, ma When traveling, you can discover places that, while not being very well known, are still very nice. Like here, Le Lavandou on the southern coast of France. Also, when traveling, you can discover boats that are not very well known worldwide but are worth a try, such as this one, the Karnik 2251 Mark II Open. We are in France, as I said, but Karnik is a yard based in Cyprus, and some of its models are distributed by Selva, the Italian company that equips them with its outboard engines. This model is six and a half meters long and two and a half meters wide. It's a typical boat for a day out with friends, with the family. Let's take a look at the boat's profile to notice that the freeboard is very high. This term identifies the height of the side from the surface. Well over one meter at the bow and about 90 centimeters aft, which offers protection from the waves. Likewise, inside, the walls are high and protective. It has a foam-injected hull structure. This way, it cannot be flooded and therefore has a huge reserve buoyancy. In practice, it is very difficult to sink. The living area at the bow consists of a sofa, a chair in front of the console and a table and that whole thing transforms into a solarium. The table is non-slip and has a small border. The interruption of railing at the bow is used to embark and disembark easily. It's a small boat, but it's very nice. For example, this surface is nice and large. It's non-slip and here below, the winch. Seems impossible, yet on this six and a half metre vessel, there is also a cabin. The couch perfectly closes the cockpit. The seating unit at the console can be replaced with swivel armchairs. The tapestries are not trivial and the seat becomes a backrest. Among the optional equipment, there are various types of sunshade awnings and also a fiberglass hardtop with steel structure. This cocktail area hides a sink next to which you could put a table. For this model, Salva has chosen its 150 horsepower engine, but the maximum permissible power is 225 horses. It's time to test the performance of this Karnik 2251 by Selva. They have installed a four-stroke outboard of 150 horsepower. It's a 2,670cc engine, double camshaft in head with 16 valves. Did you make a note of the outboard markings? XSR. That indicates Salva's sport line. I do not think this will be a calm engine. From a certain point of view, we could say that today we are not very fortunate. The wind and sea are so strong. But from another point of view, I would say that this instead is the ideal situation to try a boat. So small that certainly, under conditions of calm seas, sounds very well. And today? You must know that Karnik has been building boats for 23 years on the island of Cyprus. Now, all the islands are lashed by the winds and around their coast the sea is generally rough. In so many years of experience, I think they have learned to properly build the hulls, but we have to check. The speed at this time is 12 knots. We are at 3,000 RPM and we are consuming about 15 litres an hour. We are planing at this speed. 
We are at 18 knots, 3,600 RPM and proceeding against the waves. Well, you can feel them a bit, but not too much. These crafts are born on the computer. They are modelled by robotic blades, so the construction is exactly the same as the project. If they are done right, they must navigate well. If you sail with the wind and see pushing on the side of the boat, you are usually washed with water splashes when the wind is strong. 20 knots. But no, that is not happening now. With the sea on the stern, I prefer a bit of trim. Indeed, it is I who prefers to give it a little trim. Here it is. It is clear that we pitch a little more, but at least we don't get wet. Well, the waves are not so low, eh? 4,600 RPM, we're going 26 knots. The hull has a fairly balanced layout. The bearing is regular in all sections, so I do not have to adjust trim. I just do it to improve performance, depending on the boat's direction to the waves. Now I would say that it is time to push it at maximum speed, and for this test I prefer to have C on the stern. This engine should reach 6,000 RPM to give us all the power. It keeps the trajectory well enough, but some adjustments on the rudder must be made. Also, because we are at 5,200 RPM and 30 knots. I should be able to take another 800 RPM. I'm not sure I'll do it, but I want to try. Oh, here we are, 6,000 RPM, and we are 37 knots. Forse non avete mai sentito parlare di Karnik. Maybe you've never heard of Carney, but the yard certainly deserves to be known for its construction technology and its boats definitely deserve a try.